Hello and welcome to Nev's Gaming. It has been Christmas and I do hope you enjoyed yourselves. I know I got what I wanted for Christmas and that was full netherite armor and tools minus the sword that we uh, decided to throw into the lava. But why I'm starting the episode here in the Badlands. Why are we starting here? Because I'm building this episode with Terra Cotter. Yes, first time building with Terracotta. So, why am I building with Terracotta? So, what am I building? Well, let's gather some more Terracotta and head over to our little Nevtopian village. As we can see here, I've laid the layout of uh, one, two, three buildings. Now, what are these buildings? And there's space for another one there. What are these buildings going to be? Well, I'm going to tell you. These buildings are, in fact, going to be shops. Because, as we love the New Year's Day sales, and also we love the absolutely uh, Boxing Day sales, I'm going to build these encompassant with that. So each shop is going to be a different one. We're going to have a clothing store. We're going to have maybe a fireworks store. We're going to have lots of different things. And we're slowly going to build up this area to make it into a nice little housing area. Yes. So uh, let me finish off these buildings. Let's start off with the first one. The clothing store. And there we have it. Our first store is complete. And what is that store? Well, of course, it is Nev's clothing. Yes. We have made our first store for the January slash Boxing Day sales. It is a clothing store because we all know those lovely sales always happen on Boxing Day and New Year's. And we can't beat a bargain. No, we can't. So let's have a quick look inside, shall we? Oh, entering here, you can see we've got a few clothing on on uh, display already. We've got a lovely picturesque background with a skeleton in a conch shell or... Is it a flip-flop? I don't know. Uh, you uh, write in the comments below what you think that is. Uh, but here we go. We've got more more clothing on the stands. We've got some storage up top there, which we can store all the cover uh, all the clothing. Uh, we've even got a few pictures here and there, just to fill in that gap and make it make it a bit more active. Moving on down here, we can see we've got our dye area where we can dye all our clothing, all the needed colour that we want. Admittedly, there's three there that, you know, isn't quite filled yet because I haven't filled them with brown or anything, etc. But it's auto-renewable thanks to the dripstone there filling the cauldrons back up. So as long as we don't use all the dye, we'll have unlimited dye. Right. Moving on to the next door. Well, as if by magic, um, we spin around here. You can see I've made my next store, and of course, it is a music store because you can't bring in the New Year's without any music. Ah, oh, would you look at the texture I've done on this? It reminds me of something like Aero Mint Chocolate. I don't know why. <laughs> I did go for a weird checkered board look. I just it just felt it feels musical, and I've introduced. Some nether brick into the build right over here. Some nether brick stairs and a nice little bench that people can sit on. Or maybe they want to jump on and have a look inside the window. Uh, but I do I do like it. I do like the way the nether brick the nether brick the nether brick is entwined with the green and actually black terracotta. Because as I said, I am going to be using more terracotta in these builds. Because it's a block that I don't really use really usually use so uh that's what i'm going to be doing so let's go and have a quick sneaky little look inside actually we'll start with the outside actually because we've got a nice little musical note on the outside signifying music hence why the indent to the building is cut out here above the window unlike our previous build over here where we actually made the roof come over almost like an alcove uh, on top of the roof there, you can see a disc. Yes, I tried to go for a vinyl disc to mirror image the discs within Minecraft. I hope that is achieved. I think it has. But if we enter here, we can see we're greeted with the usual dark wood trap doors with the... Um, they, I'm make, turning this into a till, but it's actually just a uh, trader stand to get for the villages. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Uh, but let's go around here. We've got no blocks. But you can have fun making music. 
Oh my god, it goes away! Okay, it's not scared. We've even got our music box here with a hidden crafting table in the floor if we need to do any crafting. Something became apparent while I made this music store. I thought I had a lot of discs. I do have a lot of discs. Trouble is, they're all the same disc. If we look behind me, I have four different types. And that is it. There's lots, lots more. Which I want to get this episode, I've decided. So I'm going to stop building shops. I'd make a few contraptions to get these. The only way to get the discs is obviously if they get shot. The creepers get shot by skeletons. That's the way we're going to do it. Uh, I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that. or decided I'm going to do that yet. Something will come to me as we go down into the basement. Because we're also going to be doing another build down here in the basement. All the way down. I have made a little area where our mining shaft is. If we go inside this place here, oh, there's a big open room. Now I wonder, comment down below what you think this room will be. Yeah, the disco room is completed. Look at that architecture on the ceiling. We've used a lot, a lot of different blocks and wood types in this room just to make it that... Um, we, well, we're trying to make it that nightclub -y, like lounge, old school lounge where you can have a stage in the background. Uh, but there's nowhere for people to sit yet, so I need to carry on with that. And we have the bar complete here. We've got all our barrels filled to the brim with the greatest of beverages for people to slip on. We've got our mixing stations here uh, to again enjoy a little beverage and we've got a few signs to making sure everyone stays merry this time of year. Whoa, but there's no places for people to sit. Ah! Do you want to know something uber uber awesome? Well I'll tell you what's awesome right now is the underground nightclub is complete. So let's go and take a sneaky little look inside and I've put in the entrance to the mine here it's a little bit secluded i've tried to make it look like a uh, little hidden away you know a little treasure trove so if we step inside we are greeted by our first like desk area where we can book in and get a stamp because it is obviously a nightclub and that up these this scaffold in here is the entrance to the music shop which is upstairs which is already seen if we jump on here, I'm going to have, in the future, maybe a villager behind. But I love the way the acacia trap door uh, like covers the um, shroom light. I think that is in a very nice touch. It's not. It reminds me of just like normal lights in a nightclub, no dim. Uh, I've used, again, some warp stem block uh, with the, obviously, another, the trees from the nether here. I can't remember what they're called. What are they called? Oh, the top of my head. Uh, crimson stem, they are. I've used a crimson stem. And, again, I've used the nether brick for a ceiling. And But if we go through the main hallway here, you can see the transition where it's mainly watered on. We go through the door into the main area, and look at that. We have our little bays where people can sit and place their drinks upon. And we go around here, we've got some little standing tables. We've got the main stage over there where we can have all sorts of entertainment. Swinging it around, more places to sit. Our bar in the corner, swinging it around even more. Again, we've used the shroom lights, but this time covered with the, uh, oh, oh no, what, what are they called? Ah, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but those trapdoors, the redwood trapdoors, um, ah, oh, mango trees, there we go, we got there in the end. Woof, where they are, I forget words, it's unbelievable. But yeah, we've got the mango, mangrove trees trapdoors there, <laughs> covering the shroom lights again, and I just love the, sh the effect the shroom light gives behind them. Uh, but all these bays there, for plenty for people to sit. We've got the main dance floor here where we've got lava underneath lighting the area. And I've decided to go for these like little drop uh, drop lights here. I think they're very, pit they're very small, limited. They don't draw your eye too much. But what do you think of this chandelier? I'm tempted to put another chandelier here as well above the dance floor. I'm not too sure about it. So I'd like your opinions in the comments below. Now... We've got the dance floor, we've got the music shop, but we haven't got the discs. I now need to find and make a creeper skeleton killer. Whoop, whoop. And with a build of a higgledy-piggledy, we've got a mixture of wood and stone there. Yes, I move. I 
built with wood and stone because I started building with wood and then realised I was running out very, very quickly. So I switched to stone, which I have plentiful of. And if you look behind me, this is our creeper spawner slash creeper killer slash CD maker. Basically, we've got a skeleton here trapped and thanks to the use of pistons. Trust me, he's even got a special bow. I kept on running around, but he kept on hitting me. But now that is all sorted. He ran into the middle there, the pistons fired and trapped them in and then I blocked them off with glass. Quite simple and easy. Above us, here is just a simple little creeper spawner. It's nothing too big, nothing too fancy. The rates aren't are good enough. They're good enough for what we need. Uh, and for a single person. So let's go and check inside. We've already started, started uh, collecting a few. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this here. Because this is the perfect distance for the skeleton to try and shoot me. And hopefully he should start trying to attack me now. Yeah, there he goes. Instead he's hitting the creepers. Which means I am perfectly safe. I have not a worry in the world. So I'm going to stay here for a bit, see how many CDs I can get, and I'll be right back. All those creepers are now passed away, so uh, thanks to our lovely skeleton here. Let's see what we got in the chest. Oh, we got a couple of C14 418 broken discs. We've got fixed disc. We've got metal high, and we've got the style disc. Oh, I think... I want to see if we can get some more. So uh, I'm going to spend about an hour here and then we'll go from there. Okay, so my skeleton may have actually died. Why? Because guess what? This Wally here was wearing thorns. What happens when all the creepers die? They shoot towards me. They get hit by thorns and then die. Ah, oh, it's the last time I do something like that. AFK. And leave the keyboard. But let's have a look inside the chest. What goodies do we got? We have all these goodies. Look how many CDs we've got now. Admittedly, it's not all of them that we can collect, but look at them all. We've got things in mail, weights, far blocks, strad, loads of broken discs, and mellow high. So let's go put these in the music store and see what they look like on the wall. Behind me is all the CDs we've got so far. The discs are ready to be played and bought and sold in our music shop. And we've got space for all the goat horns which we can utilize and place upon there as musical instruments as well because they are of course sound and music. We've only got one so far, but we'll have to look into that in a future episode. But this episode is now finished. I would like to thank you all for watching. I've been Nose Gaming. You've been amazing, toodaloo, and I'll see all you wonderful people in a few. Goodbye.